friends how are you fantastic cool super cool fabulous fantabulous wow great i am also fantastic here and when i see your happy faces and this energy level i feel damn happy today i am here with a beautiful activity for you are you ready to do the activity good this activity is about your best friend here i have some plain sheets on the sheets what you have to do write your name and the best qualities which your best friend has you are going to write the qualities of your best friend clear to all now i will distribute all these sheets and you have to write to all the best qualities of your of, of your friend so take one sheet for you and pass it to others clear to you once again i will say what you have to do write your name then the best qualities of your friend clear you have only 2 minutes to write all these things your time starts now Very good. All are busy in writing. Don't pick another paper because you are writing about your own friend, not about others. Very good. Those who have completed, they can submit to me. Fantastic. Hmm. Good. How many qualities? As many as you can. More than two. More than three. It's up to you. good very good savesh okay yes who has completed give me wow so nice mrudula wonderful wow great now your time is over collect all sheets stop your writing yeah Give me all sheets. Give me all sheets. Completed all. Now submit me all sheets. Yes, here is the bunch of your best friends qualities. Now let's see what you have written here. i will read one by one okay listen shreyash he has given first so i am going to read his first he has written his best friend's qualities which qualities his friend has see ready to share everything very good speaks english very good means his friend is fluent in english wow draws and paints beautifully wow good qualities very good shreyash you have written nicely now it is about mrudula she has written about her friend you will see always ready to help very good takes care very good speaks politely wow good in study superb after that i have the cheek of mayuri so what she has written about her friend her friend is kind intelligent very polite good dancer wow cracks jokes how funny very good very good now vedan what he has written let's see good speaker best in maths helps others not teasing others wow super and after that saish his friend has beautiful handwriting wow super not speaking bad words honest wow wonderful so most of the students they have submitted their pages to me and they have written the best qualities of their friends see beta all these qualities are ornaments of your personality which beautify you yeah i want to catch your attention towards two points which were written by saish and vedam not speaking bad words not teasing others is there anyone in the class who teases who uses bad words no be honest Okay, let me tell me a word which is used to describe like these students. Do you know? 
Okay, rude, well tried, unkind, stubborn, well tried. But exact word for this is bully. Bully means a person who is intentional, physically and mentally cruel to others. Kitty? Okay. Do you like to listen a story? Very good. Today we are going to see the story about a bully boy who is bad bully. Ready? Okay. Once upon a time, not very so long ago, there was a boy whose name was Hell. He was not big but strong. He loved to tease others, all children who went to school with him. What he loved to do? Much to pinch. And he could make big bruise within a second. Do you know what is pinching? Yeah, if someone wears new dress, we do new pinch. But this new pinch, it is in a pleasant way. But what did he do? It was horrible. It was harder, which could appear bruise on the skin. Bruise? What is a bruise? It is a purplish mark on the skin. So you can imagine how harder he did. Even he used to prick the people. You can guess how children hated him a lot. You know, children tried to pinch him back. But it was no use because he could pinch harder than. Children didn't like to talk to teacher about the same because it was like a telling tale. Telling tale means to inform someone about doing some bad things. One day this class went for picnic. Picnic, yeah. So what is there to picnic? Yes, enjoyment. Yes, beta. Fun. Yes, correct. Outdoor games. Full day out of the house. Eating tasty food. Wow, enjoy a lot. Very good. And if it is at the seaside, what will be there? Yes, correct, Mudula. Playing in sand. Wow, Mayuri, absolutely. Making castles in it. Wow, Shreyas, collecting shells. Very good. Yes, Vedan, what are you talking there? Ah, yes, correct. We can see many water animals there. Which water animals can we see there? Can anybody tell me? Yes, fish. What? Dolphin? Okay. Crab. Lobsters. Yes. Snails. Yes. What? Madura? Jellyfish. Good. Starfish. Wow. Then what's more there? Yeah, many, many creatures we can see. And enjoy also. Yes, Bita. Shreyash, what do you want to tell here? Ah, very important. Playing with waves. Wonderful, Bita. Wonderful. So, in this way, all children have fun there. So, all were excited for the picnic. On the day of picnic, all the children were wild with excitement. Here, wild means enthusiastic. Okay. All crowded into the train. And sat down. Nobody was with Harry. Because he always pinched. And they were enjoying. They were sitting with their friends. And they were talking and cracking the jokes. And the train started. They all arrived at the picnic spot. They all shouted joyfully. And the rest, hand in hand, they enjoyed a lot. They were making fun, but nobody took Harry's hand. Nobody went near Harry. He was alone. He was observing all. He was angry. He went to Sandy Corner. He sat down there. He didn't bother about that. No one was playing with him. Now he took his lunch. He was observing that his lunch was good, yummy. You know what was there in his lunch? There were 
sandwiches, cake, chocolate bar, bread and butter, yum. He wouldn't share all these things to anyone. He would eat all, all these by himself only. He was about to start. He heard a horse voice. Horse means deep and rough sound. Good morning. I please to see like a boy. Harry, turn around with fear. Do you think what did he see there? Harry saw a wild, big crab moving slowly towards him. It was too big. And his eyes were at the end of the stalks. It was clear. And Harry was shocked. And with fear, he was looking at it only. He came. And he held out his front claw to Harry. Harry also put out his hand to shake Crab's claw for his anger and surprise. The crab pinched and nicked his hand. Harry yelled loudly. Yelled means crab with pain. Ah! Crab said, Oh, what surprise! See, my cousin brother is also coming here. For Harry's surprise, what did he see? From the pond, there was coming a huge lobster towards him and he came Harry could do anything lobster came and started pinching Harry Harry yelled loudly ah! for surprise what did they see all other crabs shubs prawns and other lobsters came towards Harry and all started pinching Harry till he became black and blue. Harry was crying bitterly. Don't you like this? said all the creatures. You know, we all are from the same category. You are the champion of pincher and tricking. And we are the same. Come, come on, come on and enjoy with us. Harry was crying bitterly. He was looking at them and he was thinking how hard they were pinching. He lapped his legs and his lunch box rolled into the pool. These creatures saw that and they ran towards the lunch box. Harry saw that creatures went towards the lunch box for the feast. He saw that they forgot him for some time and he ran for his life. I suppose other children hate me too. I will jolly well shunt, pinch and prick anymore. In this way, Harry realized his mistake and definitely promised that from that time he never pinch and prick anymore. See children, in our life we have to be very proper and behave properly. Respect others. Always we have to behave in a good manner. We have to respect others. Automatically we will get the respect. We should treat others in a way in which we want the treatment from others.